With due consideration and thought, I have endeavoured to record my thoughts in these little ditties of mine. As a result of my many cogitations, not many conclusions have been reached. Instead, most of the results have been merely postulations on a theme. The other day I hit upon an epiphany, might say. It occurred to me that the sins and triumphs of our father are often misunderstood by the younger generations and will be forevermore. This in itself is not a theory of great moment as it has been propounded frequently already. However, what I have come to understand myself is that mistakes for, for anyone are part of the learning process. It is impossible to convey the wisdom of the ages to a less developed audience as scepticism is bred into the society we live in. Unfortunate is my belief that there, this has always been so in the human condition. As looked to my own children, one of which wants to become an accountant and one a musician, it comes as no surprise to me that such paths are not so much a diversion in comparison to my own, but a junction. I might attempt to convince them of my worldly experience one day, but eventually, one of the, um, the eventuality of them taking any notice of my acquired wisdom is a slight. As such was the same with my father and his father before him. We are all dissatisfied with the way in which we are given instruction in our formative years. The more one pushes a philosophy to one's charges, the more they push back, declaring that this is not the way they wish to conduct their future. It is a disappointment, perhaps, but the results are always the same. I will declare that interest in development of artistic pursuits is the way to fulfil the soul, and will be told that the achievements of a different nature are what drive their spirits. MV Kuka locations of all levels and other new initiative drives our youth to the extremes of objectives at a younger and younger age. All in the progressive effort to conform and live life the way our parents did. This does not and cannot drive their spirits, surely. It merely churns out more factory-produced drones to a pe to a patent me patent mechanical solidarity for the next generation. Leonardo da Vinci said, "Study without desire spoils the memory, and it retains nothing it takes in." I find myself a great deal of desire for knowledge and learning. This came not from a fountain or a foundation within the school environment, but was fostered there. Indeed, I have learned more out of school than I did when I dwelled within it. I was an arrogant git when in education. Some might say I was still that way inclined. Mark Twain indicated, I have never let my schooling interfere with my education. That is closer to my philosophy than the other I might stress. Oscar Wilde said something about never being able to have too much education or too much overdressed. A fatuous comment, I know, but we like it. It is evident, though, that these statements will not be held by those that follow us to such an extent as we maintain them or in the same way more that they will be taken to the next stage of development to suit a new age. It is said that children are a gift and that one should be grateful to have them. Now, though the second is certainly true to some extent, I might venture to th that the first is certainly a distortion of the truth. A child or ward cannot be said to, to present anything akin to a gift. The present is to the child, not the parent. The mother surely gives them a gift, and not the other way round. The gift of life is the... the, 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 the theirs to do with as they please. It is not the it is not the prerogative of the older generation to tell them just how to live. How to live just because they were the creators of life, 
It surely insta instigates responsibility as instructors, but not as rulers. In the early stages of life, I must confess, it is necessary to have a sturdy and guarding hand, though that limb must be ready to let go at a moment's notice if it becomes necessary. Individual development should not be constrained by concern or nurturing goodwill. It must be conceded that different cultures have severely different approaches to the process of child-rearing and different results as a consequence. In some closed family units it is seen as extreme bad man manners and ignorance to dispute the word of an older family member. In others it is seen as a fore foregone decision that a minor is left to their own devices at the moment they reach anything approaching adult age. In Western society, childhood has only recently been adopted as a sacred or even remotely revered state. The Victorians held that children should not only be seen and not heard, but used as a means of labour and burden from the earliest of ages. That is, you, we of we of, that is if you are of wealthy birth, in which case you are a burden. It was only in the latter part of the era that the childhood began to be celebrated and looked upon as a blessing. With this outlook secured novel stories such as Lewis Carroll's output secured such a state. However, we today are left with the realisation that we have created our own monsters, those who would happily see their forebears in the past as they drive the future. In essence, this is not such a bad thing, I reflect. Sons and daughters go before us with positive might as we are left behind to wallow in the acquired pessimism and contempt for our burdens we have, that we have undergone. I myself am looking forward to the day when I can embrace my son and daughter to form a family unit, although I am a mite apprehensive about where, I, where, where my place will be as a result. Will I become an old old hat once the introduction to Western values has asserts, asserted itself? Only the test of time will tell. My daughter, Panache, wishes to become an accountant, as I said, a profession that daunts me, not least as it is a calling my fa father pursued and one which I have never shown any aptitude towards whatsoever. Now, my son Dylan is another case. He wishes to venture into the territory that is familiar to me, a pursuit that I admire and love myself, one of the performing arts. He wishes to be a musician. These postulations are instrumental in establishing a ground for our expectations as parents, a grounding that should not be, not in reality be there. As I said, little consideration and thought. It now seems to me that this was a particularly particularly true as I cast my eye back over this article. Perhaps I should have pursued my cogitations further.